What's up nerds and virgins, it's your boy Ab Crypto, and today I'll be covering two CNFT projects that I'm personally interested in and I believe have potential. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, I'd appreciate it if you like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell, especially if you like CNFTs or you're just starting to get into CNFTs, because I believe this is the number one channel for this. And while you're at it as well, make sure you follow me on Twitter at ApeCryptoYT, as I post CNFT news, CNFT updates, CNFT discussions, a CNFT giveaways on the regular. So make sure you follow me there to stay tuned. And if you're feeling extra generous, make sure you follow my own NFT project at NerdsCNFT. I really appreciate that and it would help me out a lot. So the first project I'll be talking about today is Camel Club, which I've covered on this channel before. So Camel Club is a collection of 8,888 camels that live on the Cardano blockchain. With over 110 attributes available, each camel is completely unique. So why do I like Camel Club? Well, the first thing that stands out to me is simply their art. It's very clean and as well as funny. So you've got all these different types of camels. They've got their own story and they've got their own funny twist to it. So you've got Grandmaster Camel here. Don't know how to say that. Hump Hefner, Camel Borg, Hump Exotic, 008, Camelvis, and Donald Hump. So these are fun. They're based off well-known celebrities or characters. And I personally dig it. I find it funny. And as well as, I find the art really visually appealing. They're very nice and they stand out to me, which is a huge positive given that NFT art is a visual thing. So they have nailed it in that aspect. Another thing that they've nailed is social media engagement. So since I last covered them, they have grown exponentially, pushing 4,000 followers as of today and having 5,000 members in their Discord. So that is good there and that's a metric that, as you know, I always like to look at. It gives you a good insight on demand and whether this project will sell out or not and whether it will potentially have value. As most of you know, demand drives value, but you can only go so far with a huge community and decent art. What really drives demand is utility and incentives. The NFT project has to make sure people aren't selling their NFTs and people are holding on to this collection, which ultimately makes these assets grow in value, which as investors is exactly what we want to see and hear. Looking at this roadmap, what makes me believe that these Camel Club NFTs will be a good investment and will ultimately have longevity in their value based on this roadmap. So here's what stands out to me. An airdrop special NFT to all camel holders to grant access to future pre-sale and potential utility. So there you go, off the bat, that's the reason to hold and to not flip it, because if you hold it, you get a new NFT. So if you like this project and you believe in this project, you definitely won't be selling it. And the less people that are selling it, the less downward pressure there is on the floor. I also like the 3% royalty split between holders and creators, as that will give holders passive income, as well as the creators as well. The creators will make money off the mint, but they'll also get a continuous stream of income that they can push into this project because of this passive income. So that's good as well. You want continued development, especially if they're talking about launching top humps, which will be a Pokemon style game where camel holders battle each other using their own camel. Attacks and abilities will differ based on the camel's attributes. With the aim, this will be a play to earn. So that's good as well. So as well as incentives via airdrops and royalties, they'll also have utility. So this really could drive the demand for this project. So that's all good here. And down the line, they plan to continue to do so in rewarding holders and also making game developments and as well as future drops. So that's all well and good there. But as an investor, you have to question everything to make sure that your investment is legit. So you gotta think, is this team capable of doing this? And who are they? So from what I know, the team aren't doxxed. They've said kind of who they are here, but they haven't shown their face and they haven't really highlighted their credentials in their ability to be able to deliver these promises. This roadmap is huge and it's ambitious, but so far here, there's nothing really telling me that they can deliver this, but this could come shortly, so keep your eyes out on this. But that's one con about this that I'm not overly convinced on, being totally honest. But in saying that, it is hard to doubt these guys with their quality of their website and the amount of detail that has gone into this website with their story, everything on here, it's all very well and professionally done. So there's that, but aside from the gamification, say if they potentially don't deliver on that, I still believe these could potentially have value as they're incentivizing people to hold, which is a real big thing in my opinion. So if everyone's holding and no one's selling, the floor could be quite nice. And you gotta remember, it's not always about the floor. There's probably a thousand of them that will always be above the floor 
unless something catastrophic happens because of the rarity of it. So say hypothetically, this project doesn't do well, even though I think it will, but just say hypothetically, and you pull a really rare one, you'll still be in profit. But depending on your position, you should be practicing risk management. If you're not 100% convinced, you shouldn't be investing. And especially if you're not doing your own research. One thing I also like about this project is they are donating 5% of sales to the Afghanistan refugee crisis appeal, which if you've been paying attention to web news, you'd see what's going on in Afghanistan is horrific right now. And then so it's beautiful to see that the team are doing this. And I believe charitable acts like this is something all NFT projects should be at least considering. And I believe they should all be doing given the position they're in that they will be after selling out. This is something that with Nerds and Virgins we plan on doing. And this is something to all CNFT projects that I highly recommend, especially when you're in a position to help people that need it. So overall, I'm a real big fan of their art. I'm a real big fan of their topic. And I'm a real big fan of how they got this humorous twist to it with well-known characters and people. I do like their roadmap. It's very ambitious and I like the incentives. I'm not 100% sure on the team's ability to be able to deliver all this, what I've seen so far, but they will have the money and the budget from selling these NFTs and from the royalties. So they'll most likely be able to hire someone and they'll most likely be able to do this, but I wouldn't 100% bank on it. Despite that, I do believe these will have value and I do believe Camel Club is a good project and I do believe it will do well. And that's why it is on today's episode. If you want to find out about Camel Club, I'll leave a link to their website, their Discord and their Twitter in the description. Make sure you check it out yourself and do your own research because Papa is not a financial advisor. <laughs> so the next project we have today is Angel Baby Hit Squad and it is an Ethereum NFT. Whoa, 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 I know what you're thinking. Fuck this, click off this video. Ethereum gas fees are dog shit. Yeah, I agree, 100%. Ethereum gas fees are bullshit, but this is different. So let me explain. This is an Ethereum project with Adia Utility, which is really interesting and it caught my eye. So the initial buy is on Ethereum, but it will have Cardano Utility. It'll be listed on OpenSea, Rarity Tools, but all the airdrops will be straight CNFTs. So yes, you have the one-time transaction with that fucked up gas fee, but then the rest is in ADA. So you might be thinking, why do this? What the hell? What is the point of this? It was actually by and one of the Cardano NFT boys, Fedicini, who is, if you know, is a Cardano NFT OG and is an all-round good guy. So he's a part of this team and I spoke to him about this. So the whole vision of this project is to bring thousands of new eyes into the Cardano NFT community. So the ETH NFT community is obviously huge. It's the biggest and it's the one everyone knows about and it has got a lot more money and it's a lot more developed. If this project sells out and does well on Ethereum, every single one who holds one of these will have to download an ADA wallet and to have CNFTs in it to be able to see the airdrops for these Angel Baby Hit Squad NFTs. So that ultimately the goal is to get thousands of new collectors into the Cardano space. So this is the long-term vision. So I found this really interesting and I love it. And of course, I trust Fettuccini's intentions. He's an OG and I really think this is a brilliant idea. So it sucks that you have to pay the gas fee if you want to get one of these. But overall, I really do like the vision and I really hope it can do well. And of course, aside from the vision, I really do like the art. As you can see, it's 3D, it's really clean and it's done very well. I don't know how it will go on Ethereum because I'm really not focused on that space or anything like that. But let me tell you, if this was a Cardano project, this would sell out extremely fucking fast. The art quality is amazing. So this as well has really caught my eye, as well as the vision to bring Ethereum heads into Cardano. I personally don't know how this is gonna do, given there's only 1,200 followers and under 1,000 members on their Discord, and with there being 11,101 annual babies. But in saying that, I do hope it does well, and I believe it has the potential to if it gets the right eyes, given the quality of the art and given the backing of the Cardano community. If we can get this bigger on Ethereum, it can be good for Cardano. So because of that, I really do like this project and I personally hope it goes really well. Of course, it's a bold vision and a real ballsy idea and you know, it may not work. Like any other NFT, it may not be successful, but I do love the vision, I do love the art and the guy behind it is a Cardano OG. So this project, has my support. So let me know what you think about this one. I think it's really interesting and it's unheard of, but if it's successful, it really could shake shit up in the NFT world. So let me know, what do you think? Do you like this whole crossover or you just wish they listed on Cardano? Do you think this project would do well? Let me know in the comment section below. 
So anyway guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it, but most importantly, I hope you found it valuable. And if you did, I'd appreciate it if you liked this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to not miss out on a single CNFT video. And while you're at it, make sure you follow me on Twitter at CryptoYT. And if you want to show extra support and give Papa the love he thinks he deserves, make sure you follow at NerdCNFT on Twitter. And if you want to pop in and say hi and personally speak to me, make sure you join our Discord. I'm in there all the time, I'm talking to everyone, and I'd love you to pop in and say hi to me. I'm Ape Crypto, the leader of Nerds and Virgins. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you Nerds and Virgins next time.